So today I want to show you some sample images of the 18mm 1.4 and what you can do with it. This is a very wide angle lens for some people, but for me it works really nice. I'm going to let you listen to the clicks, a little ASMR for you people out there. I'm going to put the metal lens hood <laughs> on it also. And I'm going to take it off. Click. Also, fun fact, it does shake also. <laughs> and that's just the motor inside of it. That's the image stabilization. So as soon as you turn your camera on, it stops that. So if you buy this lens and you think there's something wrong with it, there's not. So I just want to jump in real quick and tell you a few things about this lens that I love. I love how fast it is. The motor is silent. You think it's not doing anything, but it really is. It works well for video. I actually might throw a clip in here also for that. It just is an amazing lens. If you like the 28 millimeter focal length, which I freaking love. I used to shoot so much on the 24 and then the 50 uh, and a 35, but it was like the sweet spot between the 24 and the 35 for me. It just works perfect. And that's like just my go-to. I traded my Leica Q for the 18 millimeter 1.4 and the X-T4 and a lot of people call me crazy, but I don't think so. I don't regret it whatsoever. It's just so fast and it's responsive, it's accurate and it just never fails on me. And that's one thing I can't say about the Leica Q because I would miss focus so often on it and it was so annoying. And this one does not do that whatsoever. It is a very good lens. I have used it for weddings, all types of documentary work. And today I'm gonna to show you a lot of the images that I've shot with it over the last, I don't know how long I've had it now, maybe like seven or eight months. And it just blows me away every time I use it. I probably have it on my camera 90, something percent of the time so highly recommend this lens i'm not getting paid by fujifilm um i just i just love this lens thank you guys so much for making this lens kudos and i bet it would work really good on an xh2 i would love to try that out one day i actually use it on an xe1 and it worked really good considering how old that body is so it just works and that's what i love about it so I would definitely recommend renting one before you buy one, just in case you don't know about that wide focal length and if you will like it or not. For me, it's great. For you, it might not be. So I definitely think you should try one out whenever you get the opportunity. I really appreciate you guys watching this. If you're new here, subscribe and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Hunter Hart Photo and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.